This video is a quick demonstration of the touchscreen feature of NoviSign, and it's also uh, going to show you how to set it up. As you can see, we have a general casino um, creative here that uh, has, says touch anywhere to learn more about the amenities. So you, this, even though I'm using the mouse on this, it's meant to actually be used by the finger on the screen. So if you click on it and it will launch the next page. We have several options here. We have amenities, events, drinks, and then there's also some simple wayfinding. Like if someone wants to find the conference room, the ballroom, with salons, click on map it. It will show on the screen how to get there. So we can change to any one of them and we'll show how to get there. The spa, the swimming pool over here, or the valet parking. Also we have events, which will list the events and drinks and dining. So this is the touch screen in action. Now we're going to show you how it's set up. So from the creatives, we have the creative. The um, We'll start with the essentially the home page. So this one we want to be able to touch anywhere on the screen. So what we do is we take the touch screen widget, drop it on the screen, and we want to make it the full size. So we want to make top and bottom zero and the height and width of 100. And then what we tell it to do is we want it to go to a creative. So if somebody touches a screen, we want it to go to a specific creative. We use the drop down box, and we, in this case, we want it to go to Casino One. It's like Casino One. So now when anybody touches anything on the screen, it will go to Casino One. We save that. And then there's another way to do a touch widget. We'll show you from another screen. Go to the Casino Three screen. The other way to do it is to actually select the element, like here in this case, the amenities. We have a text box. This works for any widget on the screen. You can come down here to where it says touch, and we select go to creative, and we say what creative we want it to go to. So any, any widget, any picture can be set the same way. So we can go to touch. So if somebody were to touch this picture, we can actually have it go to another screen. So this can be done to make any widget that way. So once we have all of our creatives done that we want associated with our touch screen, then we need to go to our playlist and we create a playlist and we want to put every screen associated with that, that touch screen. So we will set them all up. And then the, the main screen, since is this one, this is the casino homepage. This is the page we want it to show all the time unless somebody touches it. So what we'll do with all the other screens, we will click on the calendar and we will make these settings. We will click the events tab, the events check, play only on events and touch screen, touch widget events. We will do that for every other screen on here so that when somebody touches it, it will go to the casino one. And if somebody touches something on here, it will go to the, 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 the associated creative. Now, the time down here, the 30 seconds, the 30 seconds, that is how long the screen will stay active with no interaction. So if somebody were to start from here and go to this page, it will stay at this page for 30 seconds, and then it will go back to the main screen. It doesn't matter how far you, they go down. Say if they go to this one and they select this one and they select this one, it's the time that's on the slide that they are on that's when it'll go back. So this can obviously be changed to anything that you want. It can be longer or shorter, and it will return to the home screen after that set amount of time with no interaction.